there are some major issues happening right now in Pet Simulator 99 Update 5 that you are going to want to know regarding the magnet flags. In this video, I'm going to be going over the three different issues that are currently happening with the magnet flags right now and go over what you can do to avoid these problems. Some of these issues aren't really that major to be perfectly honest, but one of them is a big deal and you're going to want to know it. I try to get this information out to you guys as soon as possible just so you guys are super aware of what's going on. If this video helps you out, it'd mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment your username down below uh, for your Roblox account and you will be entered into an exclusive giveaway. We do this on every video. 24 hours from this upload, you can come check the comments and see if you have won. Three separate people are going to win exclusive pets on this video. Thank you very much. And let's get right into the bugs. All right, you guys. So the first major issue that we're having right now is that magnet flags are actually not fully working. As you can see, I was on this account opening eggs all day, trying to get some more huges. Just the regular day, you know. So as you do, I have magnet flags in the last area with my pets grinding. But what I noticed is when I come back to the final area... I noticed there's a ton of these orbs on the ground that are not getting picked up by the magnet flag. And I know I've seen a lot of people on Reddit saying that these are like fake orbs or ghost orbs and they don't actually give you any coins or anything. But I'm here to show you that this is just not true at all. So as you can see, I traded away all my diamonds to my alt account so you could see how the number changes exactly. Uh, you could see that the magnet flag is picking up some diamonds and I am getting them in my inventory right now. A little diamonds at a time. But watch when I walk over and try to pick up some of these diamond orbs. So watch the number on the magnet flag of the diamonds and then watch my number of diamonds when I walk over. As you can see from this footage, we gained a total of 76 diamonds in our inventory from walking over here. But the number on the flag only went up 25 diamonds. So that leaves a whole 50 that were on the ground just sitting there waiting to be picked up. And if we never walked over here, we wouldn't have got those diamonds. So I'm not saying this is a consistent number, but if this was happening the whole time, that means we're only getting a third of the diamonds that we're supposed to be getting from the magnet flag uh, when we're walking around the map. All right, guys, I can already see the comments of people upset how this test is just not that scientific. So I did another test. I've been sitting here for about five minutes. I traded away all my diamonds again. So we're just going to do a simple little test here to see if this is consistent. And then we'll talk about maybe what the problem is and ways we can get around this. So once again, we're going to start with a certain amount of diamonds as you can see on the screen and when we walk over the number of diamonds on the flag does not change very much but the diamonds in our inventory is changing which shows that we are actually picking up these diamonds on the ground and these are not ghost orbs in that test there were 30 diamonds that were unaccounted for that were laying on the ground that the magnet flag was not picking up but obviously, this isn't a big deal because we're not losing out on that many diamonds, I guess. But the issue comes because we do not know if some of the diamonds are just despawning on the ground that have been sitting there for a minute. So it's impossible to test to see how much we're actually losing from doing this. It's just something to note that it does not seem to be fully working as intended. But again, as I said in the intro, it is just a small issue, something to consider. I saw some posts on social media saying that the magnet flag actually doesn't work in the VIP area. But from my testing on the private server, it seems like it is working fine to me. I do see a couple diamonds on the ground, but if we go over there, I don't think we're going to be able to pick this up. This has always been an issue with the VIP area. So I think the Magnet flag is working fine here in the VIP. Uh, I'm going to go into a public server and test it out just to be sure, and I'll be right back. Okay, so very interesting. Actually, I joined a public server and am I doing the exact same thing. And look, there is actually a lot more diamonds on the ground even with the magnet flag. So I don't know. We're going to walk over and see if we can pick them up and if they actually go in our inventory. They actually do. Wait, what the heck? 
Oh, look. Yeah, wait. They're actually real. Interesting. So there is a major issue right now going on with the VIP area and the magnet flag. I don't know why, but it didn't have that issue on my private server, but it is happening right now on this public server. Just to do as much testing as possible, I did a third test here on a different public server, and it is happening again. So I don't know what this issue is. Uh, I honestly didn't expect this to actually be a problem. It seems to be an issue with the public servers that the magnet flag is just not working in the VIP. We're going to walk over and pick them up just so you guys can see that they are real. If we pick up more than 100, then we will know that these are real diamonds on the ground that the magnet flag is not picking up. As you can see, we picked up almost like 300 diamonds. So that is actually really troubling that this is an issue. Definitely something that big games needs to look at and get fixed ASAP for people that have paid Robux for this VIP mine. I'm sure it is very frustrating that this is not working. All right, while we're on the same topic, there has been a common misconception that since the update five and we got these new magnet upgrades that you don't need the magnet three book enchant all of a sudden. And this is just wrong. Like I've been sitting here for two minutes and look, I already have item drops on the outside that I have not been able to pick up by standing directly in the middle without a magnet three enchant. So I don't know who's spreading this rumor that the magnet three is just not needed anymore. But this is most definitely needed if you are grinding in the area. Look at all of these drops that I'm missing out on just because I don't equip the Magnet 3 book. Look, I equip the Magnet 3 book. Look, all of it comes coming to me. I missed out this one, but I would have picked this up if I just had the Magnet 3 on in the first place. That's proof to any of you guys who think you don't need the Magnet 3 all of a sudden. It is still necessary even with the upgrades that we got. With that being said, just make sure you have the Magnet 3 still equipped while you are grinding in this final area. Especially since these Magnet Flags seem to not be working as effective as they should. So this is most definitely a time where you should be having the Magnet 3 equipped. Alright, so those are the issues that we are currently having in the game with the Magnet Flags. Remember to comment your Roblox username down below and subscribe to the channel. I will be doing the giveaway in 24 hours from when this video is uploaded, so make sure to get entered right away. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.